What's up everybody? Carlos here back with another video. Marketing on the moto video series where we talk about different marketing concepts while riding the motorcycle. So today what I want to talk about is the value ladder, which is a concept that I learned from uh, Russell Brunson. I believe in his dot-com secrets, maybe his expert secrets um, book. And what it is, is it's kind of like a, uh, a graphic, right? And it's a ladder. And what it does is it demonstrates how there can be different levels to your service, right? For whatever your business is, your, your business is gonna have different levels of service that you can offer, right? There's always like an entry level service and then there's like a premium service. And the more creative you get and the more time you spend understanding your client, the more you can build out those, those different levels, right? Uh, specifically like the premium end. It should be your goal to continuously develop higher and higher levels of uh, service. And as you continue to grow those levels and to send them up your value ladder, you can actually go ahead and um, charge more. So it's, uh, it's something that evolves over time, but it's a great exercise to just to, to continue to do, you know, every so often to make sure that you're providing as many levels as you can. So what you want to do is imagine a ladder, right? Different rungs on a ladder or um, like a staircase, right? Imagine uh, different steps. And at the very beginning is going to be your entry level service that you offer. Okay. So let's say you're like a dentist. Your entry level offer is most likely going to be like a teeth cleaning, right? Getting your teeth cleaned. And the reason for that is because it's a, it's a level of service that's not super expensive. It's something that everybody needs, right? You should always be going to get your teeth cleaned. And it's not super invasive and it just, you know, it's just a good it's a good way to get people into the, to the to the dentist office, right? Kind of a good way to get them into the into the dentist like ecosystem. So that would be like a beginning level for a dentist. After that would probably be something, I mean, I'm not a dentist, so I don't know exactly, but it would probably be something along the lines of like getting um, a cavity filled. Or no, actually, it would probably be uh, getting x-rays, right? So getting like a dental exam. So getting x-rays to see how the rest of your teeth are doing, to see if you have any cavities, um, you know, or any other issues that might be coming up. Wisdom teeth being taken out. And then after that would be something like, oh, they found a cavity. Uh, you need to come back and get your cavity filled, right? So they're gonna have to like drill into your teeth and then uh, fill your cavity. After that might be something a little bit more invasive that requires a little bit more work. That's a little bit more expensive. And that would be something like having a tooth removed or having some teeth removed. Um, or like, you know, wisdom teeth or maybe teeth for braces. If you're gonna get um, braces put on, maybe you go see an oral surgeon. Uh, so. As you can see, there's like different levels and they just continue to go up higher and higher until eventually you've kind of probably done as, as much as you can do for that particular business. So maybe, I don't know, getting like an entire set of teeth, having all your teeth removed if you know they're rotten or something and then getting like a whole new set of teeth. So it, it's, it's a little bit easier to do in certain uh, industries, certain businesses like the information business. If you're like a coach uh, or a trainer, you can put together some really cool packages because if you're selling information, I mean, you can really do like some cool stuff like, um, you know, masterminds and things like that where people are charging, you know, $25,000, $50,000 to be part of like, a, you know, masterminds. I think actually Russell Brunson himself, uh, if I remember correctly, like he charges no less than like a million dollars to go out to your business and build a funnel for you. So, you know, and, and the thing is that as you get more and more skilled at what you do, your time becomes limited and you can only serve so many people you know at one time and so it's like your time becomes extremely valuable so for someone to get access to you like that and you have such knowledge where you're helping out in like an entire industry because you're just so knowledgeable then yeah charging like a million dollars to go out and help uh, 
you know a business that can afford it kind of makes sense i mean that would be like the super highest level you could probably do and i mean i've heard of that coaches that charge you know to spend a day with them you know a quarter million dollars maybe a million dollars and a lot of people are like well who the hell would pay for that well the thing is, is that you know there are people that that would pay for that because if that person has knowledge that will help this person 10x their business well then they'll be willing to pay it so it's all about different levels right when you first started whatever it is that you do there's a good chance that you charge a certain amount and then as you got better as the process got faster as the quality of materials that you used or as the quality of your products started to improve you uh, started to charge more and that's really what it is, is you're kind of taking you know when we talked about the customer journey before we were talking about the the process that somebody goes through in order to become a buyer right so starting from not knowing that they have a problem to knowing about your solution um, that's the customer journey right and then there's like another end which is I would say you know the value ladder is kind of like the customer journey once they have become a buyer and so it, it's kind of similar to when you mapped out your customer journey figuring out okay what are those steps and how can I how can I find how can I meet them where they're at so I can create content and market to them it's kind of the same thing with the value ladder it's like okay if I know that um, you know this dentist is uh, trying to find people for teeth cleaning well then that's probably going to be the best the best place to put my marketing dollars if I'm trying to get new people in the door right as many new people as I can because there's not going to be as many people who need wisdom teeth taken out as there are people who need their teeth cleaned just in general right it's more of a general service that's why you can reach more people that's why it, it makes sense to have it in the beginning of the value ladder as you get more and more um, premium you're targeting a more specific audience right or a more specific part of your market uh, there's probably more people out there let's say you're a painter there's probably more people out there who need just like a room painted than who need an entire than who need an entire home painted um, so yeah it's uh it's a really cool exercise it's something that i've definitely done and it's you know it doesn't matter what industry you're in any industry is an information industry what i mean by that is your clients your prospects they constantly need uh, education right you have to be educating them on your process on on your overall product or service because they just don't know right they know they have a problem but they don't really know the solution so at the very beginning stages of your value ladder you can always have information right giving away like a PDF or giving away an ebook or a real book um, some kind of like a little mini course right even if you're a dentist like how to know whether or not your teeth need to be cleaned or how to know uh, uh, how often to get your teeth cleaned or what you know uh, your teeth might start to look and feel like if you haven't gotten them cleaned in a while like these are all little articles or um, pieces of content that, that you can create that can help facilitate the people to take action on that first step of your value ladder so you know don't don't just assume that it has to be some kind of a product or a service that you're offering um, it, it can be information but um, yeah value ladder is super super valuable and you know handy thing to to go over for your business and as you start to do it you'll 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 start coming up with ideas to like create more levels of service higher levels of service uh, because it forces you to look at where you're at currently with your business and like what you're doing and see like how you can improve and it's not always a matter of making like your product better right the quality of the product uh, or even the quality of your service maybe you already use like let's say you're a painter maybe you already use like really good materials right uh, there are other ways to to create a higher level of service so maybe you can improve the communication between you and your customer right how, how you update them uh, the, you know the amount of touch points how many uh, times you reach out to them to let them know how things are going and how you how you reach out to them or maybe uh, time right you can up you can increase the uh, um, level of service with uh, time so by expediting how quickly you can get their project done right can you get it done faster if you can do that you're now offering it at you know you're, you're offering a higher service a higher level of service so there's so many different variables and so many different ways to improve the quality uh, of your service 
or of your different levels of service for your business. So um, yeah, hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, but yeah, guys, start working on that value ladder and uh, we'll talk soon. Peace.